Welcome to Tone House. My name is Josh. I am 50% of Tone House. I'll be doing a small review and kind of like playthrough uh, of this guy right here, Veritas Mini Master, or as they recently renamed it, the Riverton. It is. This is a custom Veritas guitar. Very, very nice quality. Everything about it is actually really great. Screams out high top end quality. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So let's check this out. Let's see how this guitar sounds. I'm running the ACS1, like I said uh, previously. It's going to be Fender on the left. Vox on the right. Yes, that is right. Um, let's go ahead and get this going. We're going to start on the bridge pickup. Nothing else is on. Reverb, delay, all that good stuff is off. I only have a compressor on. Very subtle. Let's check it out. I do run my amps a little hot, so just FYI. Here we go. <laughs> Again, that's the bridge pickup. It's pretty good sustain. Here we go again. I like it. Let's go to the metal pickup. Here we go. It's very good. It's actually very snappy. Very, very snappy. You can get some decent funk tones out of it for sure. Uh, let's go to the neck. I like it. I like it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's hear some drives with it. Let's go to the morning glory. Here goes. Bridge pickup. Again, no delay, no reverb, just amps. Morning glory. Compressor. Here we go. Here comes the middle pickup. Very good, I like this one. All right, let's try the neck pickup. Very, very good, I like it. All right, uh, we're gonna kick in the Timmy real quick. It's gonna be a little hotter, kind of like stage two or stage three So for some people. Here we go, bridge. Middle. And neck. So we're gonna go ahead and go into my presets, stage one, stage two, stage three. I'll do them with the individual pickups and then together and let's hear that out here comes the stage one morning glory again delay reverb on bridge position here we go here comes the metal pickup Bad. Here we go. Uh, neck pickup. Cool. 
Let's go to stage two, bridge position. This is a Timmy. Stage three, this will be the kilt version two. Uh, it's pretty hot. Uh, let's hear how it sounds. Stage three. So it's pretty great. I like it. All right, let's hear the middle. I like this position a lot. It's starting to become one of my favorites. I like it. All right, let's go to the neck. That one sounds pretty good too. It's very, um, I hear there's a little bit of like extra compression on the pickups, but it's, it's a good one. I don't know. It makes it feel very aggressive in a way. I like it, especially considering we're on a very heavy preset per se. All right. Now let's go ahead and go into some ambient stuff. This is some stuff that I came up with for this video. It's not probably going to be uh, the stuff I'll be using live once I actually get to dive in. But here we go. Stage one. And I'll just do stage one and stage two for the ambient stuff. So here we go. This We're going to start backwards now. We're going to start with the neck. One thing to note is that I am going into the amps rather than post amp, right? I'm not I'm not going effects after amp. I'm going everything into the amp. So you're gonna get those gnarly tones, a little bit more of a I guess you would, some people call it muddiness, but I like to call it aggressiveness. It's it's a very good uh, pleasing tone for me, I guess you could say. Uh, let's go to the middle. Alright, now let's do bridge. Sounds pretty good as well. I like how that sounds. Um, it's very good. It also can hold chords very well, so let's just keep It's 
that's pretty great. All right, let's go to ambient on stage two. Neck, here we go. I love the sustain. It adds a little bit more character when it comes to ambient. Um, there, there's just that that feel to you know in it, and I actually recommend just messing around with the string gauge as well. I know a lot of people like to play with uh, ten, some even nines. This one is set up with eleven, so. There's just that beefiness to it that it's my preference. It's not for everyone, but I would recommend you try this guitar out with 11s. It sounds pretty great. All right, let's go to the neck. I mean, the middle pickup. That's gotta be my favorite sound. I, I, there's just something magical about that metal position. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the bridge. Alright guys, well there you have it. I love this guitar. This guitar is great. I was trying to show you very simplistic stuff, open chords, some couple of licks here and there. I like I wanted to show you what a playthrough sounded like with this guitar, especially with the click and all that good stuff, because that's what you're gonna hear in your in-ears. Um, it's it's a very lovely guitar. I recommend if you have an opportunity to get one, do it. I have also heard, and this is something that I kept on researching prior to being able to buy a custom, is that the new Pro Series models are pretty darn good. I've heard that they are, uh, some people have said that they are up to par with the very early custom ones. So if you have a chance to snatch one of those, I would also recommend that they're very great guitars. Again, Veritas for the win. Uh, it is great for the worship stuff. Uh, it just doesn't get any better than that when it comes to two humbuckers and some worship music. So um, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys like uh, the video. I hope you guys subscribe. Uh, leave any comments that you... Uh, may want to share anything you would like to see with this guitar with the pedal board that I'll be showing on later on um, And thank you for watching. Have a great one